Hey guys, it's Courtney with this little nook. As you can see, I'm standing right next to a ladder right now. We have decided to put a swing in our living room. What do you think about that, Garrett? What was my idea? Okay, so you can see right here, we already have a swing in our living room. This was a swing from Sweet Swinging, and we love it. We love it, love it, love it, but we're kind of growing out of it at this point. She has put up just in a stud in our wall, our ceiling actually, with an eye hook, a carabiner, and then a ring. And anyways, we use this for our little baby girl, but she is one and I think we are ready to transition into a family swing. So it's gonna be super simple. We are moving over to the next stud over up here. So we're coming this way into our living room, which I'm standing in. And, and Coleman wants to be in the video. Say hi. And we are getting the swing ready to get. We are getting a new swing. So like I said, super simple. We're gonna be putting a, just cutting a 10 by two board. So 10 inches by two inches, yeah. cutting it to the length that we want. And then just getting the rope and I will be showing how to drill and make sure you're drilling into a stud in your ceiling or else this is just gonna fall out and you will be so disappointed. So you wanna make sure you're getting it into a stud with the proper hardware that will hold the weight limit you're hoping for. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that, but I'm super excited, so stay tuned. I want to use and my hardware store doesn't have the kind I was hoping for so most of the rope is shiny which I think means it's like a blend or something I don't know nylon or something and I want my rope to not have the shine to it but I was hoping for more of a cream color it looks like I'm going to be having to go with this all-purpose clothesline um, and it will be like, I'll be doubling it up quite a bit, probably like tripling it up and then on each side. So the 40 pound weight limit is not as accurate. So anyways, I'm going to grab that. And then I have these at home, but I just thought I'd show you, you're going to want to grab a couple carabiners that hold, um, this one is, what is it? 250 pounds. You could probably get around with the smaller one that holds 200. And then you also want to get a couple of these. You may even want to go over to the actual hardware section and get a couple that are a little bit bigger. Um, a little bit more like this. That's going to hold like probably up to 200 pounds. Anyways, there you go. So I have my wood that they cut for me, my rope, and then that should be all I'm going to need to finish up my project. Just my drill at home and then we'll have a swing. So I'm sitting outside Home Depot and I just finished getting all my stuff. The total cost for me was $37. You were getting the um, eye hooks and the carabiners. Thinking you'd probably be around 45. So that's a good idea of like how much this would cost you to do. I have my wood that is all cut. My little bag, I'm gonna head home and do some macrame on the cord and I can show you how I'm gonna do that and then get it hung up. Okay, so I have my hooks set up for macrame. So what I did, the string that I got was 200 feet. I was able to, the way I measured it was not like super accurate, but I was able to wrap it around, so I like pinched the end in between my thumb, wrapped it around my elbow and then back up to my thumb. I did that 10 times on six different pieces of rope and then I just, Put the rope in half, threaded it through, and then threaded the ends through. So now I have these two long streams of rope, and I'm going to start macrameing a little bit down. So I'm gonna macrame, then leave loose rope, and then macrame, leave loose rope, and then I'm gonna macrame to the end of the swing. So there's like a little bit of a mix of both loose rope, just kind of like this, and then some macrame knots.
I'm on my ladder and I have everything that I need. Sorry for the yucky double chin shot. So I have my drill. Sorry, I don't know why I'm shaking so bad. I feel fine. My stud finder, my drill with the correct size to drill hole in to put these in, if that made any sense. And my stud finder. So I'm gonna use one thing at a time. I'm going to grab my stud finder. No, there's a stud, right? Okay, right here. Okay, do you see that? There's that stud. So I'm gonna be just a hot mess and just drag that and put a hole in my wall. And my ceiling right there, that little line indicates that is where my drill is going to drill into. And then I'm gonna pre-drill. And then you're hoping that you get to a point where you can't push through anymore and that's good. That means you hit the stud. And you're just gonna drill up into that stud and that is where our first eye hook is gonna go. So I'm just gonna start screwing that in and then I'm gonna show you a little hack to make screwing this in a lot easier. So you're gonna screw it in until it becomes too hard to do with your own hands. And then what I do, since my drill has this long thing on it, I just put it in here and I kind of use this to help crank it. May not be the best for your drill, I've never had a problem doing it, and I have probably put, oh, maybe 15 of these up in my last couple years using this method. It just gives it, it is like way, you can't do this with your hand. So this just gives the leverage you need to make sure these get up in there good in the stud. Okay, so I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to do the next one. And I have just realized that I have already made a mistake, but I think there will be a workaround. So I've been macrameing my cord and I was macrameing it as if the eye hooks would be on a level surface, but my ceiling slopes up. So one of them is going to be higher than the other. So I'm gonna get these eye hooks in and then put the macrame on and see how it looks, but I may have to undo it all and start over. So on the floor here, I've taped where I want the swing to be. What I'm basically doing is just coming up and putting these up right where that tape is. So I'm gonna move the ladder right above the other piece of tape and this eye hook's gonna go in right around here. Same process for both. The hardest part is over and I actually don't think I'm gonna need to redo any of macrame, which is awesome. I know like, it does look a little off, but I'm just gonna kind of start having them be at the same thing as we come down. And yeah, it's gonna look awesome. I have test hung on each. They are both secured very nicely in a stud. This is where our old swing was. We're gonna go ahead and patch that later today. Okay, Coleman, hang on one. Oh yeah, definitely strong. <laughs> All right guys, so Courtney is having me, me drill some holes in the swing chair. Uh, and this is what we have going on. So we have a two by 10. It is roughly 27 inches long, I think, is what she had the guy at Home Depot cut it down to. And so we are just marking where we're putting holes. We're gonna use the uh, an inch drill bit for the, the holes. Uh, so we have an, an inch and a half in, inch and a half down, inch and a half in, inch and a half down. So I'm gonna mark all of these and then we're gonna drill our holes. All right, holes marked. Inch and a half in, inch and a half down. We're doing an inch size drill bit on the drill press. 
Let's get to it. Holes drilled. Now it's time to sand. And just like that, we have a completed board. Really the only thing sanding does is a lot of these edges are pretty sharp. So if you have little kids, it's just not the smoothest thing. So now that we have the holes drilled, let's see, Whoop. holes drilled, it's all sand, excuse me, all sanded. Um, now we're gonna put a little clear coat on this, probably some polyurethane or you could do some oil. Um, just kind of, if you wanted to stain it, you totally could, so. And then you're ready to mount. All right, babe, what's going on here? So I'm just swinging. So I macrame to where I wanted it. And my rope is stretchy. So I'm putting it up a little higher than I'm going to want it. So that when I sit down, it's the level I want. Thank you. I have some little helpers with me. Right now I'm just tying these off and then I'm gonna do the finishing fringe on the bottom. We'll be rocking and rolling. Okay, so I decided to change up the rope so the swings were hanging on. I didn't like the rope that I got because it had stretch in it and it was still a little shiny. So I actually went to my nearest cow ranch and I got actual like thicker rope and I'm not gonna do any macrame. You could still macrame and get rope like this and have it a little thicker weight and macrame but that took forever. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. So I am going to be using this. What I did was I got 50 feet. You probably don't need 50 feet, but I just wanted to be extra safe and not have to run back. I found the center of it and I put my carabiner up here and I'm going to do a little trick to tie it off. So I have this piece of rope. You're gonna keep a string coming out and make a loop with it, okay? And then with this, you can start wrapping it around. Okay, and I'm gonna wrap it around probably eight to 10 times. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 times. Okay, and then with the end of this rope, I'm just gonna put it through this loop and then pull up. And that's gonna bring the rope up to the top. At this point, you can kind of tug and make sure it's all tight. That's how I'm gonna gather the rope together. And then this rope, because it is all natural, it's not going to burn. So if I cut it, I can't just burn it and have it stay like I could with this other rope. So I'm gonna use probably some E6000 glue and just cut this off and then put the glue on it. But for now, I'm gonna leave it until I have everything hung and decided exactly how I want this to look. So I'm gonna do this with both sides and then I'll show you how I tie the bottoms of the swings. So the technique I showed you that I did up at the very top, I also did halfway, well not halfway, but I put it in the same slot up here and then let these fall apart and then I just tied off, made the swing even, and that is what I'm doing to the bottom of this rope and then I'll probably cut it off and unravel a bunch of this to have that kind of fringy macrame trim. So just same technique for all the things that you want either put together or tied off. 